Uh, okie dokie. Let's see. Uh, last stream, I believe that I beat two gems. I don't know which one Milo is. Whatever the first gym is, was that earth or water? And then we did gym two. No, gym two was water. Gym one was plant type, maybe? I think it was plant type. Either way. Let's, let's move on. So we've beaten Milo and Nessa. I think her name was Nessa. Pretty sure his name was Milo. <laughs> Connect to the internet. So weird that you have to do that every time. Let's load new stamps, mate. People are doing things. Good. Great. Wonderful. Uh. So like anything that says like, oh, hey, oh, right, we got a bike too. That was really nifty. I know I have to go and uh, to the seafood restaurant. Yeah, you expect it the seafood restaurant. What's up, Thunder Raja? How you doing, homie? <clears throat> How's your Friday evening going there, man? Yeah, it's weird. Like, why would you? Why? Why are they asking you to go online every time? Like, if you're connected, shouldn't it just automatically pop you in there? Yeah, whatever. All right, let's go, uh, let's go, uh... Oh, the restaurant was up the hill here. How do I get up the hill? Was there a hill? There's no hill. It's back over the other direction. We're at a lighthouse. This is all wrong. This game's the worst. <clears throat> and, uh, is he doing his god gaming as usual in the, uh, Mario Makers? Too good. Oh, here we go. There we go. Going up the hill, and we found the restaurant. Rose is in here. Glad to hear you're doing well, though, dude. Glad to hear you're doing well. All right. Let's go check it out. Ape. Ape's nothing. I've got a one streak. Okay. This is not a very big restaurant. It's got a great view, but it sits like seven people. <laughs> Come on. Incognito. Okay, we can't talk to him. All right, great voice acting time. Youngin, let's celebrate your recent victory. Oh, were you invited to... You two know each other. That's great. Come now. Please be seated. Holberry is a seafood town, naturally. If one is going to eat here, the obvious choice is the local cuisine. Everything on the menu is delicious. By the way, how is Professor Magnolia getting on? I'm quite indebted to her, you know. She was the one who figured out how to unleash the power of wishing stars and use that power to Dynamax Pokemon. We would never have been able to create Dynamax bands without her. Hmm. She was saying that there's still so much we don't know about Dynamaxing. It's causing her some worry. She even made me take a power spot detector with me when I started traveling. A power spot detector? That's the device that allowed me to discover the power spots. Locations that emit galar particles and allow Pokemon to Dynamax. I don't like hearing that Professor Magnolia is still worried, though. If only there was something I could do. Sonia, it may be good for you to visit the vault in Hammerlock. I believe the key to unlocking the secrets of the Dynamax phenomenon lies in the history preserved there. 
Understood, Chairman. I will arrange a meeting with Miss Sonia. However, I believe it is about time we get going, Chairman. Hmm. But I've hardly had a chance to speak with Youngin. It's regrettable, but I suppose it can't be helped. If something needs to get done, there's no time like the present after all. In any case, I bid you all farewell. He's quite pleasant. Does he think he's doing me a favor? He's right that the vault would be a good place to look for info on the legends, but... You got the water badge, yeah? Defeating Nessa's no small feat. Here's a TM as a reward. Dude, I'm doing great. Some restaurants are actually that small. Yep, yeah, maybe. Maybe if they're in closets, absolutely. Expensive retail space. Sure, 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 sure. Sure, sure. Shouldn't start restaurant there. Got to charge like $800 a person. What's retaliate? User gets revenge for a feigned ally. If an ally fainted in the previous turn, this move's power is increased. Doesn't sound great. This is a good friend. Perhaps I should drop in on her. Until next time, Jim Challenger. Peace out, Sonya. Which one had the tie? Oh, it was that Ulina or whatever his uh, Rose's lady friend, secretary, assistant. Ulina. All right, mate. You've got both the grass badge and the water badge right now, right? In that case, we're both headed for Matastoke and the fire gym leader, Kabu. How about I share a little tip about that leader, Kabu? From what I heard, he's holed up now in Galar Mine Number 2 undergoing some special training. If he's in there, then we can't take him on in Matastoke, even if we zip right over there putting the brakes on our gym challenge. So I say we head the Galar Mine number two ourselves. Let's go see what all the fuss is about. And I guess my um, mind is made up for me. We're going to uh, mine number dos. I'm assuming that's just continuing, continuing on. Mine number two. Oh, that's down here. So we have to go south? Yeah, I'll figure it out. So as you can tell, I've made progress. Uh, let's see let's see what we have. I've caught a bunch of new Pokemon. And uh, Ampersand Blowfish turned into a Gyarados. Yurtle turned into a... Thing. I, I think we had Hootie uh, evolve. Boners hasn't done anything and neither is free Medicaid. But that's all good. And I think at this point, since we're going into the fire gym, I believe that water was the weakness, so we should be working on uh, Yurtle and uh, the Blowfish. I had no idea that uh, a Magikarp turned into a Gyarados. I mean, that's... I mean, why wouldn't it be? It better be. <laughs> if, it's, if it's not, that's gonna suck. <laughs> A Yurtle might be the way to go. Just because... She's a little higher. Ah, it doesn't matter. I don't know. I don't know. But we're, we're gonna we're gonna go this way. Yeah, so, I mean, that's that's exciting. Had some evolutions happen. Stuff that I didn't know that would actually happen. That's, that's, that's groovy. Alright, Team Yell the last time was blocking the path over here. They aren't anymore. Oh, shit. That was... <laughs> Dude, I could have swore that that was going to take so much longer to get to the gym. I want the bat. Oh, you again. If 
feel sorry for my Pokemon if I made them take part in a battle against low-level opponents. I'm not in the mood to deal with weaklings right now. Then again, I suppose it's a form of mercy to crush weak opponents early on. If you're under the misguided impression that you're stronger than me, then surely you would be up for a Pokemon battle. Stab this dude in the chest! They left to buy some lozenges because of all the sore throating that was happening. Got themselves some little Vicks Vapor Rub too. It's utterly inconceivable that I, the challenger chosen by the chairman, will lose. This dude's a dick nugget. Let's kiss him. You're my new boyfriend! I like Intimidate off the jump immediately lowers their attack power. That's lovely. I got a feeling that... Oh, Gyarados is going to destroy the shit out of this dude's Pokemon. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> what I was going for. I knew ahead of time. Hmm. Looks like you've grown a bit. Only a little bit, though. I need more experience than that, homie. I think I fought him yesterday. I don't recall what Pokemon he had, but I do recall, like, kicking some ass. Oops. No. All of this seems right. Like, I don't recall, like, having trouble at all fighting, uh, Beatty. Whatever the crap his name is. Super Potion! God damn it! Oh, we fought him in Galar Mine number one! Uh, uh, oh, so that was actually a while ago. That was like a week ago. Music's alright. I can get funky with this. Atena? Nope. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I'm assuming he's gonna heal it again? Nope. It's a terrible owner. Just letting his Pokemon get destroyed. Ponyta. I mean, we're good. I don't know what the hell for. Excellent. Not everyone can corner my team like this. He pulled out a My Little Pony. What are you, what are you gonna do with My Little Pony? He's a brony. Uh oh. Uh, we're we're immune to that. We're we're immune to that. Only one healing item. Well, that kind of sucks for them. I just made the assumption that they probably have you know more than one. So he used it too early. I mean, he was going to die anyway. You showed at least a little effort, so I decided to let you win. You didn't decide shit, dude. I destroyed you and your weak-ass Pokemans. Ah, pardon me. It seems I must take back my words. You're not weak. You just lack talent. Your chances of completing the gym challenge are pretty slim, I must say. Here, I'll give you this. Something to show you at least tried. <laughs> what a dick. <laughs> yeah, I lost, but I'm going to pretend like that didn't bruise my ego. Here's my, here's my lead card. Now, where should I go next to collect wishing stars? 
I don't know, B. I don't know, B. You got your butt whooped by a little girl. It's a cupcake monster. Wait, is that a rock? It's a rock. It's not a cupcake monster. Wait, I learned that I learned that we can zoom. We can we can zoom. We can zoom. Look at the cupcake monster. Uh oh. The cupcake monster's got hands coming out of a cupcake. Hands coming out the cupcake. Binnacle. Physical attacks probably aren't gonna do too much since it's a rock type, right? Yeah. It was a critical hit. <laughs> Yo, for real, that hurt. I, 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 Gyarados should not be in here right now. That hurt. Water him up, son! <gasps> why, why did he know a water attack? Why do rocks have water attacks? Rocks aren't supposed to have water attacks. No! Ancient power hurt! We're leaving Gyarados out there. Catch it! What's happening? It's got no health! Pokemon are impossible to catch. Clearly it's rock and water. Because he's a rock and made of water. That was just me. Yo, for real. Get in the ball. Get in the ball. Motion controls! There we go. See, motion controls do it. That's, that's how you catch Pokemon. Motion controls. I, I don't think my controller has any motion controls. Damn, yeah, man. That attack power is just gnarly. Gnarly! We got a killer on our hands. Down and B never works! <laughs> We've moved on to motion controls. If the two don't work well together, both their offense and defense fall apart. Without good teamwork, they won't survive. A binnacle. 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 Uh, I go, oh, yep, we gotta get we gotta get a nickname. Uh they're twins, right? So we can call them Gemini. Germani, German I, German I, Rock and I, Rock and I, Twinsies. Mm. <laughs> Weird Muppet thing. Ah. Uh. Mm. It's a cupcake. That's that's what I thought it was initially. We're just gonna call him Cupcake. There we go. It's a perfect name. The perfect name. Cupcake. Cup. Hey, there we go. Little hands or candles. It looks like a very full cupcake, but there we go. We got we got cupcake. It's not a cupcake, but it's a cupcake now. A water rock monster named Cupcake. Makes sense. It makes sense. I want the bat. Yo. The thing keeps rolling out on me. Everything keeps running away. Am I too high level? Is that the problem? What are you? Crow gunk? I think it getting, uh... <laughs> the Gyarados out of here is going to be the smart move. 
Or we just let him die. We need to get Splash out of there, too. It wasn't very effective. It took 9 HP. Oops, no, not yet. Let's, let's trade them out. Hmm. Like, some of these guys are water-oriented, so maybe Bonobo would be helpful, right? Because he's grass? So, grass beats up water? None of that's effective! I did the dumb thing! <laughs> I don't know what's happening! Uh... Get in there and burn them! Grass is weak to poison? I don't know these things! He... <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> Dude, there was like a little celebration and I was like, nah, you're confused. I am confused. I am literally confused. I don't know what happened there. There was a lot of weird shit that just happened there. Good dude hits like a truck. Get him inside the ball. Don't send another grass Pokemon back out there. All right. Free Medicaid one, obviously. <laughs> great plan. Great, great plan. Fire Fang. Ooh. Oh. Maybe we'll get rid of Ember. Flinch or burn. Yeah, I think we can get rid of uh, Ember. That seems fair. Yeah. There, there really doesn't seem to be like any negative right now to doing anything since you can, I'm assuming for a price, relearn attacks. I don't really... You can just screw around with shit and if something doesn't work then it's like, yeah, alright, whatever. I'll just go relearn it. Crowagunk. Crowagunk. Crogunk. Crowagunk. Kratos. Once diluted, its poison becomes medicinal. This Pokemon came into popularity after a pharmaceutical company chose it as a mascot. Well, that's strange. Um, all right, another, another uh, nickname here. Let's see, let's see here. It's a poison frog, so we're gonna call him Juicy, with three E's. Juicy. Does that make sense? Most of the time I think when I'm naming my Pokemon that I should I should not give them crazy names so I can figure out what the crap they are. Ugh. No, I didn't want them. I didn't want them. Bad things are gonna happen, and I deserve it. Well, let's do him. I don't know what part, so ground is 
strong against water, right? Oh, we're just gonna bash his head and we, we got we got taunted. Punk avoided the Did it. We champs. Fake boners is a champ. I kind of just want to dip out of here and go heal real quick. That was, I was, I was not prepared for half of what happened there. I thought maybe having Gyarados at the head of the party would be something smart, but not in there. Dude was just getting his butt whooped. So it seems a lot of the Pokemon in there are water-based. Or rock-based. So maybe having... Our, uh, fake boners buddy up front, maybe that'll be better. I don't want to do it, but if there's going to be like poison enemies and stuff like that, I, I thought it was a cave, a big ass cave, bats and shit. I want to catch up, I don't know why the Pokemon are running from me, is it because I'm too high level, or are they just like more difficult to catch, this is upsetting me, I must have one. But not you guys. What is this thing? It's so freaking adorable! We gotta kill it. I might as well do Mud Shot. I don't think it's gonna do anything. It's okay. This is okay. Some run. Interesting. I don't like it. We gotta sneak up. Oh, damn! That was a thump. I've wanted to for a while. Well, maybe not a while now, but after I did the last gym, I wanted to go back to... The, the big open field area in front of uh, Modestoke. Because I can catch higher level Pokemon now. Like, I can explore more around there. Which certainly is an exciting prospect. Alright, what's a Shellos? It's water based. It appears. Its appearance changes depending on the environment. One theory suggests that living in cold seas causes Shellos to take on this form. So there's different kinds of Shellos? Very interesting. Mm-hmm. Al... J. Because it's a slug. Wait, slugs don't know. Slugs hate beer. No, salt. I... I... Hate... Uh, what do we got here? Uh... N... A... C... L. I hate N-A-C-L. All slugs hate sodium chloride. Booyah! Got him. Labeled him right. No, stay away. I just wanted to grab some water. I want that thing. It looks like a trilobite. I want the trilobite. Yeah, no. But I can't get sneaky deaky on it. Go. We're gonna fight a Myrtle, a Yurtle, a T 
turtle? What are they called? <laughs> Choodle. Same thing. Alright, I'll go I'll go explore more. I could come back and catch a uh, a bat or a keese. Is that it? Is that a keese? Is that what they're called? No, that's Zelda. I'm gonna catch a zoo bat. That's what they're called, right? A zoo bat. Just get it. Oh, come on. Like two HP away. It hurts. I like the animation for Slam. <laughs> Just some sort of giant paw comes flying down. I think Boner's attack is pretty high too. I wonder when they're gonna evolve. Let's see what's in the water. Catch him some fishums. I don't want to fight you. I do not want to fight you. I do dig the attack, man. That thing is strong. Super duper strong. And it missed. I'll take some heals. I guess it, uh, fake boners has the absorb water special or whatever the, what do you call it? <clears throat> I don't know, skill associated with them. That was pretty cool. I did not expect that to happen. I dig it. That's the frog. I mean, there's gonna be plenty of other Pokemans in the dungeon. Dude, that's bullshit! It had- there was- <laughs> There was a Pokeball! It lured me in! Stunfisk? That's a hell of a name. Not effective <laughs> at all. That's what you call super effective. It took off like four HP. I don't think taking off four HP is super effective. can't know the oh no fake boners boners is down the boner went down I don't think I should throw a water one in there that would be bad I guess we could throw free Medicaid in I feel like everything I have is weak to him catch him Okay, we'll deal with that. It's fine. Maybe it's because my uh, special defense got lowered, right? That's what that was. He lowered my special defense, and so Mudshot hurt me. Fucking hell! Oh my god! <laughs> I guess ground is strong against fire! <laughs> I made a boo-boo! 
Yeah, I could have taken it out by now. I just want to catch it. Come on, Pokeball. Dude. Sucker Punch. How many attacks does it have? It's got all the attacks that destroy my Pokemon. Gotta get him. Do it. One more. No! It was so close. It really messes with your feelings. Shh. Great balls are expensive and for suckers. We'll use the cheap, perfectly fine, <laughs> regular Pokeballs. I mean, for I can throw three regular Pokeballs for the price of one Great Ball. I mean, I get that it says that it's more effective, but... <laughs> maybe, 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 maybe it is a good idea. Maybe it's a good idea. Good lord, yeah, it lowers your special defense, so when he uses the, the mud thing, it just destroys you. Eh. Got him. Got him. Fake boners died and free Medicaid died. But done. Its conspicuous lips lure prey in as it lies in wait in the mud. When prey gets close, Stunfist clamps its jagged steel fins down on him. It got me good. Dude's a bastard. Uh, yes, we are calling him uh, the... Bait... The bait master. Because someone will probably complain if I call him something else. So <laughs> just we won't we won't go full in. It was a trap. He's the bait master. Just do that shit out there. And... His mouth is a pokeball. That was deceitful. Ugh, I'm never gonna catch him. Yeah, I'm not gonna go and. I want to at least have my Pokemon get experience for these fights. I can't. I can't have free Medicaid and fake boners going down. I'm definitely disappointed. That thing destroyed me. It lowering my my special defense just was devastating. She said something to me, but I didn't pay attention to it. <laughs> Have a great day! Thanks for healing my Pokemans! So I've <laughs> made it like three feet into the mine. That's it. That's all I've done. Three feet into the mine. <gasps> it's a turtle! That's a weird turtle. What the hell is that? Gross! Shuckle! <laughs> oh, is this just going to be silly? Oh, we got a critical hit. Oh, fuck you! Never gonna kill it. 
I mean, I want one. It's It's got great defense. I mean, after it threw up, like, the... I can defend anything. I wanted it. We're catching it. We're grabbing it. Grab it by its, like, stringy neck and just swing it around. Am I even taking... Am I taking anything off? A mystical veil. What, what's Yawn do? Yeah. <laughs> it's never gonna be able to kill it. Safeguard's pretty nifty. What up, Anthony? How you doing, homie? How is your Friday evening going? Enjoying life? Alright, I feel like he's not going to really do much to me because that little butt nugget healed. I've got four great balls here. We'll throw a great ball at him. All right, I'll take that. That dude was no joke. Shuckle was no joke. Let's see what we got going on here. The berry stored in its vase-like shell. I would not say that's vase-like. Eventually become a thick, pulpy juice. That is the grossest thing in the world. Ew. Hold on. Let me store this berry in my anus. And once it becomes this nice mucus, it's very satisfying. Rejuvenates your body. It's gross. 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 Probably what I said is slightly more gross, but still gross. It's holding berry juice. I don't want to, whatever it's making inside of itself. I don't want it. I don't even want to know that it does that. That's like saying like some uh, food flavoring is from uh, otter uh, beaver beaver anal glands. Raspberry flavoring. I forget what the 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 specific. It's like it's not taurine, but it's something like that. Where it's actually expressed anal glands that taste like. Like raspberry, and I think strawberry. <laughs> it's so gross. And then we consume it. It's in like bubble gum and shit like that. It's it's lovely. I'm I'm doing all right, Anthony. I'm I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Uh, I got it. I got I got the perfect name for this. Uh. Booty, booty, booty juice, booty juice. We got little booty juice up in here, y'all. Little booty juice, little booty juice. Let's see, let's see booty juice's summary. You making that fresh, fresh booty juice? Struggle bug. Yeah, let's check moves. So you never did that. That's the one move you didn't do. The user alert continually rolls into the target over five turns more powerful each time it hits that's yeah, a thing it seemed kind of helpful that seems useless but safeguard is nice Prevents status conditions for five turns. I think someone else was going to learn that in my party. I think someone else actually was going to learn that. Can we not? Yeah, whatever. Okay, bye. We caught, we caught booty juice. We'll send him to the box. Let's go fight the char. Ooh! The trilobite!
It's called a wimp pod. It ran away from me. I feel like it's just like if I attack it, I'll kill it. I'm really scared to hit it. I'm, I'm frightened that I'll kill it. We'll throw, we'll throw out the one. All right. I'm gonna have to smack it. I'm gonna have to smack it. Okay. I could deal with that. I could deal with that. I thought I was gonna like destroy the thing. I can live with that. I can slowly lower its health. Well, I don't want it to run away. I mean, I'm a, like, all attacks are random. I think I have to. I think I got. I think I got to do it. I think we got to just keep lowering it. I don't think anything I have is actually going to be strong against it, though. But it couldn't run away. Just give me that. Just tell me. But it couldn't run away. Shit was immediate. Well, you know, now I know. Now I know. Please battle me, sir. I've got a lovely gold tea and some, some huge sideburns. I bet you that's the upgraded form of one of the uh, rock Pokemon that I caught in the other... Shit. In the other mine that I was in. Looked like the dude had like a one wheel on it and some rocks. That was a critical hit. <laughs> I like it when things like that happen. Makes it seem like I knew what I was doing even when I had no clue whatsoever. The move crunch, hell yeah, we're gonna forget no move. We don't need splash. Splash is literally useless. Oh, let's see what crunch does though. So it's kind of like bite. It seems like it's like the next step up from bite. Except for the fact that it doesn't flinch. Baba -ba Splash. That was it. I'll take that. I wish I had beer. I got no beer. I got water though. Water's good. Gotta, gotta, gotta stay hydrated. What kind of uh, lovely beer do you have this uh, this evening there, Anthony? Three Dusk Balls. Nice. So that would behoove me to use that in here. I don't want to fight the stupid thing that pops out of the ground. Throw down with her. What up, girl? The muscle she's built up? Bud Light. A drinkable beer. <laughs> I wanna I wanna come up with slogans for companies. <laughs> Bud Light. A drinkable beer.
I will ne- I I'm I have preferences to the kind of beer I enjoy, but if someone puts a beer in front of me, I'm not going to be like, "Uh." <laughs> the only time I will do that is if somebody tries to hand me like a natural light or something like that. That's the one time I'm going to be like, "Dude, we ain't in fucking college anymore. I don't want your two penny beer." <laughs> I don't want that. But Bud Light, Coors Light, Miller Light, any of that stuff, I don't give a shit. The when when I was playing football, Coors Light was like the sponsored beer that like supported our league. So we just got like really cheap pitchers. It'd be like two or three bucks for a pitcher of Coors Light, and it's like, yeah, it's it's beer. <laughs> just I get one pitcher, put a straw in it, and I'm like, I'm good for it. I didn't put a straw in it. Put like five straws in it. Just siphoned it all down. It's fine. It's fine. You're right. But but like light beer is something that I never feel like full on. So you know, watching football on a Sunday, you crack a beer open for the first game, and I can drink all day long <laughs> and be like, yeah, all right, I got I got I got I got I got drunk, but it's not terrible. Perfectly fine with it. Perfectly fine with it. It is an acceptable beer. I mean, obviously, everyone has their druthers. I mean, if you're going to give me beer, if you said, what do you want? I want IPAs. Or pale ales. Either or. Those, those are hands down my favorite. But I'm not picky. I'm not. You might as well enjoy your only day off, dude. I absolutely agree. Absolutely 100% agree. You've got to got to take that time and drink it on down. Oh, see that that that's where I live though. Maybe not like really high on on the bitter scale, but you know, I I I do enjoy that. It's one of my favorite parts about it. Though I can't do sours. Sours are not not my style. The muscles I used for battle are different. Yeah, I mean, I'll drink just about any beer. I don't mind stouts. Stouts are okay. Porters are all right. Perfectly fine beers. It's just it's the sours and some of the. Oh, what are what are they called? The the really fruity beers, uh, rattlers. I don't I don't like rattlers because they kind of taste like drinking soda. I'm not a big fan of soda. They're just a touch too sweet. But just about everything else is just heffies. I love heffies. Heffies are nice. They're great. Hefeweizens are great summer beers. Really good stuff for summer. Yeah, I like I like I like wheat. There, there was a beer I had a few years ago. It was a Hefeweizen that had agave in it. So good, it was so good. I was like, a wheat beer with some like agave. That sounds interesting. It was good. It was good. Me being the idiot, I bought it for somebody else. Like I brought it over to a party. I did. I had no idea who made it. I'm sure I could look that up. That was good. That was actually really good. Multi-turn attacks such as bind and wrap? Oh! A holdable item. I got it. That's good stuff right there. I mean, I... Honestly, I mean, you can really... What is that over there? What are you? How do I get that? We need to, like, swim. Get the swim ability. Do it. Morph! Power Ranger! Do it! Ugh. There's no, like, secret path? Yeah, I guess we gotta learn some sort of, like, swim ability or something like that to get over there. Not accessible yet. It's just, it's just to tease you. It's like, oh, hey, check out the crazy green thing swimming over. I think it's green. Maybe it's yellow. Whatever it is, I won't stick. 
I guess that's a comeback later thing. Disappointing. I want it now. Uh oh. It's them boys. It's them boys. What up, nerds? Excuse me, mate. Sorry to bother you. You're one of them taking part in the gym challenge, right? Crikey. That's really something. Love a battle against a great trainer like you. Oh, look at you, Zangan. Oh, we're going to do a, a duel, a duel battle. They got their lozenges, exactly. They got their lozenges. <laughs> They're feeling way better. They got that tussin. Surrounded by adoring fans, huh? Eh? They'll even be showing up late pretty soon. Oi, juggle, mate. Can't you see we're in the middle of a conversation here? Yeah. And can't you see that I'm Hop, the trainer who will be your next champion? Ooh. So we've got a joker here, eh? You're so funny, I forgot to laugh. You think I'm joking? I'll prove it then! And I think a battle with you lot would definitely end with some laughs. Let's take them on together, youngin. You ready, mate? Dude, he's such a goofball. He's so positive-minded. The two of us were endorsed by the champion himself. We'll show you just what that means. Well, if you insist, Team Yell's going to teach you kids that the gym challenge is no joke. <laughs> you better not be yeller. What'd this other kid have to come waltzing up here for? I just wanted to knock off challenges one at a time. It's a terrible, terrible accent. Terrible. Oh, mate. Well, thank you for stopping by there, Anthony. I appreciate it. Enjoy your beer. Enjoy your evening off. And enjoy the crap out of some GTA. Oh, he's got a Wooloo. Oh, well. Oh, oh, Punk Nugget. The last time I fought these guys, I beat both of them with one person. They didn't do shit. They didn't do shit. Fake Boners is gonna get his butt whooped though. I got, I got a bad feeling. Or not, that's fine. No, I'm surprised about that. The the tail pr like the present the presentation of the butthole attack there affected both me and Wulu, but the sand attack just affected the Wulu and not me. It's that's weird that it didn't do both members. I wonder wonder why that is. I don't want fake boners to die. Fake boners gonna die. Yeah. Let's get let's get ampersand the blowfish in there. That intimidation. Both of them. Just lick me. That was super effective. Shit. And here I was going to use Waterfall. Oh. We don't know anything about Lanoon.
Other than the fact that it looks like a skunk. Dude, Gary! Your dumb sheep's gonna die. Killed it! Like a champ. Fake boners! Nice Pokemon you got there. So it looks like the sand attack can only be focused in on one character because <laughs> that jacked up the Wooloo again. Ain't my job to help you out, dude. That's on you, little homie. You protect your own Pokemon. I got, I got, I got this honky to fight. Bird, the Corvus Squire. I got one of them. I got one of them. We'll waterfall the hell out of the lagoon. These Pokemans are soft. Why are you not taking them out, Gary? Not Gary. <laughs> the Pokemon suck. But it failed because <laughs> there was nothing there. Uh, I want the... Oh, God, I really want the cute little panda bear. I took out... Every single one of them Pokemans, all's Hop did was get his Wooloo killed, knocked unconscious. Ugh, what a bad trainer. What a bad trainer Hop is. How is he going to be the champion if he's got, he's just a moron like this? Ugh, ugh, ugh. Mm, yeah, Bonobo. You go yell at us, cause we open yell lost. If I'd used a horn, would I have had a better chance of winning? I don't know what the hell kind of thing is that to say. If I used a horn, what? Why would that help you? What? Excuse me. That little mug's the champion's little brother. Guess that's what you get when you get older brothers not useless. What? It's what you get when your older brother's not useless. I know we'll team yell, but we'll leave quietly once we're beaten. Shoved his face down. More lozenges. It's all that yelling, man. It's all that yelling. Soft. Nice one, Lemon. That's my rival for you. Now then. Where could Cabo have gone off to? Let's keep going. Maybe he's farther in. Maybe. Maybe he left. Because he smelled the stank coming off. Yo, sorry ass. Oh yeah, we're never catching that thing again. <laughs> Ooh, a star piece. Wait, what did... No! Wrong thing. I forgot that I can catch Pokemon that way. Uh, what does Star Piece do? Oh no, that turns you into Dynamax, right? That's what the Star Piece does. It Dynamaxes. Where is it though? Is it a nope, Wishing Star? Treasure, maybe? Star piece. Can be sold at a high pro. Oh. It's just something to sell. Well, that's disappointing. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. I guess nuggets and pearls are the same. Oh. All of these. 
Uh... Huh. Okay. I mean, I dig that. That's cool. Items strictly just for selling? I mean, I can... I can hop on board with that. I like that. Another way to get money. I dig it, dig it, super duper dig it. Drillbird. Well, that's a good name. I want a Drillbird. We just got fake boners over here. Oh shit, they healed everyone after the fight. I'm all about that. Avoided the attack. Uh-uh. No, I can't attack him if he burrows under the ground. He didn't avoid the attack. He just disappeared. It's gonna hurt. He grew drowsy. He's still awake! Stupid yawn. So, I guess when you yawn at any time they can fall asleep? That's interesting. I figured it was a. I, I figured it was a, just random or uh, a. Either they were gonna fall asleep from the yawn attack, or they weren't. I didn't realize it was something that could take effect later on. Oh, that's kind of cool. I know now. Oh, we can switch. It's an Onyx. I think we can bring in uh, Ampersand of the Blowfish. It's two. It's two big guys going head to head. Right? Onyx is a big thing. I'm a big thing. We can big thing together. We're going to waterfall the crap out of it. Good move for catching wild Pokemon. Are Pokemon more susceptible to being caught if they're put to sleep? So that's actually a good thing to have then, huh? Uh, there was one... Was it the Jigglypuff that I had a really hard time catching in yellow? I think that's what it was. I think the, the Jigglypuff, which was, like, stupidly tough to catch. I had, I was trying to put to sleep. No! No, 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 it wasn't the Jig. I was using the Jigglypuff to try to catch, uh... Galar? What, what, one of the psychic ones. One of the psychic ones. That's what I was trying to do. Like, I had to, like, <laughs> power level my Jigglypuff so I could catch one of the psychic dudes. The one with the sp the, the spoon. The, the, is it Yuri Geller? That's who it was? Yuri Geller, the, like, spoon-bending dude? <laughs> Look, what, folk, what fucking Pokemon runs around with a spoon? Uh, Alakazam. It was a Kazam. It was a Kazam. That's what I was trying to catch. Sometimes my brain works. Sometimes it works. And so I, I try. I was trying to put to sleep the the Kazam with Jigglypuff, but Jigglypuff was so goddamn slow that he never put shit to sleep. So it was just like, all right, we're just gonna chuck Pokeballs at the thing. I think I ended up using like my Master Ball on the thing or something like that.
Seems like an okay thing to have. Oh yeah. A bag of soft sand. Just what I wanted. Ground type moves. I think I should be using some of these. I'm not. But I think I should be using some of these. I definitely have Pokemon that would benefit from the use of that stuff. Ugh. Stop itching. Oh man, we gotta we gotta get another uh voice here. Thank you for helping out with my training, Team Yo. But I must say, it's unforgivable for you to get in the way of a cockle hard at work. We weren't getting in its way. We were trying to cheer it on. Still, you did a number on us in that Pokemon battle, so it's time for Team Yell to scarper and give a morale boost elsewhere. Scarper. Cheering is one thing, but one shouldn't get in the way of honest work. Oh, he's a good guy, obviously, because he's a gym leader. Hey, that's Cobber, man. He's wicked. No wonder he's the fire-type gym leader. Oh, you are the trainers endorsed by Leon. Hoppin' Youngin', am I right? I'm just training right up to the last moment so that I can guarantee the perfect match when I face you gym challenges. I specialize in fire-type Pokemon, and the water-type Pokemon in Galar Mine Number 2 are the perfect opponents to train against. Regardless, it's getting late. Just go straight once you get out of this mine and you'll reach Motostoke. Get a good rest at the hotel, and make sure you're both in your top condition. Come on, Kaku. Time for you to head on home, too. I'll make sure you get there safely. We're going to be on fire tomorrow. I don't think he's supposed to sound like an old man, but I made him sound like an old man. I remember Lee talking about Kabu. He said that a lot of gym challengers give up because they just can't beat Kabu. Man, now I'm getting all fired up too. Wait, was that the entire mine? That was really freaking quick. That carcle from before. I guess it must have been here on a job. You do know about poker jobs by now, right? No. Poker what? Looks like there's no helping it in that case. Settle down and let Professor Hot teach you a thing or two. Let's see if I can remember what Lee had written down in his old notebooks. Basically, you can have your Pokemon go about and help companies or other folks who are in need of something. You can take jobs from the Rotami at any Pokemon Center, so give it a look sometime. Now I'm clean crackered. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> It's gross. Don't get cream cracker. You should not be playing soggy cracker. You're too young, kid. Gross. I'm for the Badoo drop in and some sleep. Come tomorrow, that fire gym leader Kabu better be ready because I'll be coming for him. Bye, you creepy little kid. Dude, it's a coughing. Look at how happy he is. I want it. Gas filled the area. It is a coffin. <laughs> just, it just expresses gas. Co oh, it's dead. On the plus side, the gas wore off. Ooh, amulet coin. Doubles any prize money received if the holding Pokemon joins a battle.
I should always have that equipped, huh? I want the coffin. Okay, this time we don't use the mud attack. I will I will just slap it. Uh skapow. Nice. It's not very effective. Stupid coffin. Uh skapow. It doesn't seem like it's doing anything. It's just like neutralizing things that haven't happened. Two's all down the board and four HP, man, I love it. We're gonna have to start remembering, or I'm gonna have to start remembering to put uh, Pokemon to sleep when I'm catching them. Or. Or vaguely thinking about it. Oh man, but I got the perfect one for this dude. It adores polluted air. Some claim that coughing used to be more plentiful in the Galar region than they are now. Oh, he's total. He's S B D. Gotta know what S B D is, man. Gotta know what S B D. All right, what else we got? I saw some weird branchy-looking thing. This, this, this Buster right here. Pseudo Woodoo. Uh, physical attacks because I have no idea what this thing is. It's a it's a tree branch. Rock throw. Of course it wouldn't be. We're both rocks. It looks plant. It looks planty. Whatever the fuck it is, it's, it got it got squished by that. All right, Pokeball out. Get him. That was too quick. Mimic. It learned Mud Shot. The frick. Motion controls! Motion controls! Motion controls! I wasn't gonna escape! I wanna catch you! Just get in the ball. Mm, Alright. I don't understand why Pokeballs aren't reusable. Is it is it like once you throw a Pokeball that shit becomes dirty and it's just like, oh, no one else is going to get in there. <laughs> why, why, why are they a consumable? They're perishable items, clearly. It disguises itself as a tree to avoid attack. It hates water so it will disappear if it starts raining. It's a rock Pokemon. It does not look like a rock. It looks like a tree. I am very surprised it's... 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 It's not a rock. It's like ball hands. I'm, 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 call, I'm calling it... Tess... Testy... F... F... Land... Mm. Mm. 
filleting. Oh, no, no, I gotta, I gotta use a F. That's that's improper. Testy, filleting, filange, filange, testy, filange. That, that's short for testicle fingers. That's that's what it is. Testy phalange. Testicle fingers. It's got ball fingers. <laughs> I will remember that. I will know exactly what Pokemon that is by the testicle fingers. Bottle of pee pee up. I want a bottle of pee pee up. Medicine that significantly raises the max PP of a single Pokemon selected move. Ooh. So like some of those rare moves that have only got like three or four attack or like five five uses. That's that's really helpful. Well, what are you? It's some sort of weird lizard rat. Oh, we gotta we gotta get uh Fake boners out of there. Fake boners is gonna bite it. And we'll try Bonobo. Nah! Let's go with Ampersand. We'll do Ampersand. How does a fish turn into a flying monster? <laughs> what? Okay, I could I could easily kill it. Cause it's fire based. It's scheming? That fool was scheming. I think if I attack it again, bad things are gonna happen. Hmm. That was that was a really strong attack. It took off more than half its health. That, that could have ended very poorly. Scary face. <laughs> what the fuck? The user frightens the target with a scary face to harshly lower its speed stat. Nah. Nah, we're good. Everything else there seemed okay on Hootie. Who's no longer really a Hootie? Salandit. This sneaky Pokemon will slink behind its prey and immobilize it with poisonous gas before the prey even realizes Salandit is there. I like that I like that combination, poison and fire. That's kinda cool. Usually you only see like poison and water go together. At least in my experience, what I've seen of Pokemon. It usually seems to be poison and water, not poison and fire. I dig that. That's cool. It may be a completely useless Pokemon, but it seems cool. Uh I don't. I don't. I, I did. I did not garner anything clever from the way it looks or or its description. Hmm. Fire and poison. Does anything? Does anything? Uh, strike inspiration in my brain. Nope. I got nothing. I got nothing. <laughs> I, got, I got nothing for it. Keep it away. 
I can't write keep it away from children. I can't write keep it away from children. I just gotta keep it away. Send him to the box. I wanted keep it away from children, but... I wonder if I got one of these birds. What is that? Oh, keep doing that. The start button is not the menu. We could go to the Pokedex, right? And I can... No. Pokemon. No. Wait, where, where's... To the boxes! Do I have anything that... Oh, meat bags. <laughs> Why did I call it meat bags? What is wrong with me? How do we switch it? Okay. R and L. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Whatever this thing is... This bird, the hoot hoot. That's what I was thinking I had already caught. So. Whatever this is, I don't have yet. The Knocked Owl. Still got one. Unless meat bags, unless the hoot hoot turns into that, which I guess is possible. Yeah, let's let's send out Ampersand. Ampersand's been doing some whooping. I need to get uh, fake boners out of there, anyways. He's uh, really low on health. Reflect. What does reflect do? Physical moves. So if I waterfall the crap out of it, we'll be okay. Crunch it. How long does Reflect last for? That was that was pretty um pretty strong. Reflect apparently lasts for more than one turn. Man, that thing is fucking hitting. Bite his eyes out. It flinched and reflect is gone. Okay, well, that was great. It's going. It is going. All right. 791. God damn, that's a lot of experience. When it needs to think, it rotates its head 180 degrees to sharpen its intellectual power. Oh, it's the devil. That's that's what it is. It's uh, Reagan. Oh, from The Exorcist. There we go. Reagan. Reagan from The Exorcist. That's what we're doing. Uh, Ra I don't know how to spell Reagan. Re Reagan? Re Agon? <laughs> I don't know how to spell Reagan. R A E G? Ray? Ray? R E A? Ray? No, that doesn't look right. Ray. It's R E A. Reagan. Right? R Rain. Ray Reagan. Ray, Ray, Ray Gin? G I N. O N. Ray. Re again? Ray Reagan. Ray Reagan. It's too deep of a cut. No one's gonna understand why I called it Reagan. Little girls that can twirl their heads and throw up on people. It's freaky. It ain't right. Oh crap, I forgot to change the order. Oh, 
it's Madame Caroline. I love your earring. Oh, she's got a butt plug too. <laughs> oh, man. So that's electric. So I don't think I can send a water one out. Man, she's got a dog, I got a dog. We're just gonna go dog on dog action right now. Sniffing butts. Fuck you! <laughs> Piece of shit! Waterfall the shit out of your dog. Roar at me, you turd. I was trying to be all smart and selective. Whatever. Your your Pokemons is all dead. Oh no, don't confuse them. Didn't work. Didn't work. Pokemon's dead. Almost dead. Throw throw a ball at it. Why are they all trying to kill me? <laughs> it's just it's friendly. I want to be your friend. Oh, but Ampersand's going to get a level up. Damn. 686. Jesus. I guess it makes sense that you get more experience from trainers because they're not like wild Pokemon. It would be the Pokemon are trained, so they should be more difficult to cat or to fight than say a wild one. I'm assuming. So you get more experience because of that reason. Or something like that. It seemed like there was a logic behind it. Fake boners earned Aqua Tail. Maybe. The user attacks by swinging its tail as if it were a vicious wave in a raging form. We're about to go to a fire gym. The user summons a heavy rain that falls for five turns, powering up water type moves. I mean, that's... I, I'm literally about to go fight fire Pokemon. I don't think I should, like, forget that. I kind of want Aqua Tail. But I don't want to give up Mud Shot. Fuck it. <laughs> what do I care? Rain Dance, go away. Doesn't matter. Strategies be damned. I just want to bash Pokemon's heads in. What, girl, you ain't know? Eh. Where? Where is safe? <laughs> Ooh. A treasure. Got three balls. Who is I? I don't even know where I am. Where, where am I? That. Very important question. I wish there was a button to simply just pull up the map. Oh, I thought we were going to come out in the field area. So we're we're on the east side of town. So when I go into town, we're going to be right by the, the arena. I didn't think that this was going to be an actual gym that we were going to fight. I had, I had no idea that this, I guess, stadium... Is gonna be one, cause most of the the gyms have this, I guess shape like bowl shape. So I just I just assume that this wasn't a gym, like this is where Leon resided. I guess I was wrong. I guess he fights here in this giant thing 
and Winden? It's gotta be it. Whatever. Well, I, I will see if any of my assumptions actually end up becoming true or not. Uh, I wanted to change the Pokemon in front because fake boners is getting uh, his butt whooped. God, I really want Ampersand to stay in there, but maybe we'll do Yurtle. We'll do Yurtle. Fake boners has got some good levels. Yurtle can get some good levels. And I got three water type sort of Pokemon. Hello, hello. What's all this then? Fancy a scrap with a copper? I, I guess so. Look at how happy he is. Raymond the police officer. He's a bobby. Is ready to throw down. You know what's interesting? I wonder if there is a slightly different translation for the UK versus the US. Because they don't... They don't I mean... They, I guess they are police over there, but they call them Bobbies, right? So wouldn't it be like Bobby Raymond? <laughs> no, it wouldn't. It'd be Police Officer Raymond. No one's gonna call them Bobbies, right? Well, I made the right decision. I got I got Yurtle out. She intimidated Yurtle. Or he? Growlithe. It's a he. Intimidated my girl. Gonna water gun the shit out of you. Rock tomb the shit out of you. Both are effective. It's rock tomb the crap out of the dog. That's actually good to know. I didn't I didn't realize that ground type was effective against fire. That was it? I love all this one-shotting. <laughs> Makes you feel real good. It slightly increases the attack base points of a single Pokemon. Uh, the, the feathers here, I think, are permanent stat increases when you use them. At least that's the way they seem. Their description makes them seem that way. Again, I think it's something best held off on until, like, later in the game when I know, like, these are the Pokemon I want to hold on to, and so I can be like, yep, we need to boost their attack power rather than just willy-nilly using it right now. Oh, we got jobs and stuff, right? Didn't they say that I could, like, do jobs? Oh, but I'm not... I'm not an inn. But we have a telephone. What's... Why? Oh, I can organize these? Oh, shit. Town map has got to be first. Yeah, that's all I care about. And we can move those two. I like to have those closer together. That's cool. Got mine all set up. Yeah, because there really should be like a dedicated button to the map. And you got it's so dark. You got all these unused buttons. None of the none of the L the trigger button bumpers. They don't do anything. The right stick doesn't do anything. The left stick whistles. The D-pad doesn't do anything. And one of them should just automatically pull up the map. Disappointed in you, video game. I don't think anything there changed. Yeah, all that's the same as before. Alright, we'll go... Oh, I think I have to go to the inn anyways. I don't think I have a choice. Which is this place. I should go to... Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I wanted to go to the Poké Center. Because I wanted to buy 
Great balls. Uh, she's the head of Team Yell, I believe. Uh, challenger youngin, right? Out giving it your all, even this late, huh? Hey, help me with something for a sec. If you want to see if you're ready for the next leg of the gym challenge. Alright, so she wants to throw down. Wicked. Caught some fight in you, huh? I'm gonna beat the shit out of your little nugget. Your little Pikachu. Your weird looking Pikachu. Nope. Crow Gunk. We're fighting Crow Gunk. Feel awful if I lose. But there's no way I'm gonna. None of what I have is very effective. I don't want to check out my moves, I want to check out her moves. It's poison and fighting. I don't remember what's strong against. Alright, well. We could go through and see if anything says it's effective. Oh, god damn it. We could throw Hootie in then. Hootie Hoo! Dude, what can it get revenge for? I didn't do anything yet. <laughs> you, can't, you can't get revenge if I don't if I don't give you something to get revenge on. Got him. Sucker. Free Medicaid, gotta love it. I really hope Growlithe uh, evolves soon. More Peko. I don't know what the crap that is, so nope, we'll keep Hootie out there. Oh, it's Pikachu. Uh, kill. Hmm, I think your move expresses my feelings. What do you think? Very bitey. Jesus Christ. Yo, that thing got pissed. <laughs> that thing got pissed. I don't think fire is going to do it, but we'll set we'll send her out. See if free Medicaid can do anything. What the fuck? This thing's got like dual personalities. Stop it! Jesus Christ! It's too strong! Leafs, throw leaves at it. Don't let it bite you, it'll kill you. This thing bites so freaking hard. <laughs> it crits, bite crits every time. Bonobo's going down. I'm done for. I'm done for. Yurtle. You gotta come in big, Yurtle.
rock tomb that shit. Oh my god. Why are there more? No, we have to leave Yertle in! It'd be no fun if things just ended. That's why we're not giving up. Whatever the hell's a Scraggy, it better fucking die to a rock tomb. You're correct, it was not very effective. Crit! Crit with a bite! Crit with a bite! It didn't crit! But it flinched! Water gun? Come on, Ampersand. We're gonna... We're gonna waterfall it. And just pray that the, like, sheer power of that attack does enough. <laughs> you beat me. Guess you must not be that too bad after all, huh? Mm, I don't like her. I don't like her. Guess I'd better get to bed and rest up for tomorrow. You'd better get to sleep too. I don't know what your more Pico is, but I want one of those fucking things. That Pikachu thing is like mean. thing was destroying me. That bite hit so freaking hard. I'm jealous. Morning, youngin. That friend of yours already went off to challenge the next gym. Kabu's league card is supposed to help against him, but I ended up with a few copies, so I'll give you one. Don't look so chuffed. It's no big deal. Take this too. A little something for a battle yesterday. Burn heels. That may very well be helpful. Bet you'll have no trouble beating that man of fire Kabu chap, right? Why don't you get over to Motostoke Stadium and get that gym badge already? I'm moody. Quit my job just so I could watch the gym challenge. <laughs> oh, that is not an intelligent human being. So, I guess according to what that guy says is that there's like a season for going around and challenging gym leaders. I didn't think that there would be. I thought it was like a 24-7 thing. Like, it doesn't matter. If you want to just challenge gyms and get badges. You can do it any time of the year. I want to go to... I don't remember where the Poka Center is. Or if there was another one in town. I only recall there being one. And it was all the way back over here. Maybe there is a second one. I think maybe there was a second one on that floor, but I, ju I just don't remember. Oh, I don't know why I did that. I think everyone got healed after that. Alright, so we're going into a fire gym. I have three Pokemon I think I can use against that. Cleared the gym mission at Holberry Stadium. Yep. 
I can purchase more items at the Pokemart. I guess we'll grab some great balls. Grab 20 of them. 12,000 is a hunk of chunk of money and two premier balls. Uh, how much do I get for the treasures that we have? 20,000? Holy crap. Man, it's nuts. I mean, I'm assuming that all of these are going to, like, sell the same everywhere. But one of these said... That... I thought one of these, like, suggested that... It's popular with a certain class of collectors. Like, when it said that, I just assumed that I could sell it to, like, certain people for a higher price, but I have no idea. Some delicious baked chicken. I'm jealous. How did you create the baked chicken? Did you put, like, any rub on that? Put any sauces or anything like that? Did you, did you marinate it? Do anything fancy, or is it just, you know, just bought it from Winco? I've never heard of that. I have no idea what Winco is. But kudos. I mean, as long as it was delicious, that's all that matters. Do you have any vegetables? Veggies? I guess we'll just sell everything off. There's no point in hand holding on to any of this, I guess, so... It's just... I'm just going to sell everything. Meh. <laughs> We're just going to sell it all. Yeah, this stuff. I think I'm going to hold on to these. The mushrooms. Because it says a certain class of collector. So I'm going to hold on to that. But everything else, I'm just going to... I'm going to let go of... I mean... Double is good. I agree. But, whatever. We'll just hold on to the mushrooms. A random treasure. Well, alright. I'm going to hold on to them anyways. We'll see. I believe you, but... I'm just going to hold on to it. So that means I can... Oh, you know what we're going to do? I want to check out the Rotomi. Let's see about these job things first. Pokemon are in high demand as helpers in the Galar region, and you're able to send your own Pokemon out to help out on jobs. That was a little bit too much on that out there. The Pokemon you send out will grow stronger from the experience they gain. The job postings will be updated every day. Good things will begin to happen if you send lots of Pokemon to many jobs. So keep an eye out for new postings and help out as much as you can. I agree. I would like to do this. So, looking for normal type Pokemon. Together we can make cloth that you can use in any way you like, okay? Both durable and flexible bug type Pokemon and grass type. Normal? I don't know. Yeah, let's do it. Normal. I don't know what a normal is. I wish that they would also show you. Oh, there we go. That's perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. Uh, we've got Nutty Buddy. We've got Trash Can. Ooh, 
This is exactly what I was hoping that there would be. Meat bags. Oh man, we gotta send out meat bags. Let's see who else we got. We got a Meowth. You know, I want that Meowth, meowth to gain some levels. Let's do that. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna get that Meowth some levels. Yep. Yep. Those are those are those are the three. Whole day is fine with me. Good luck, nerds! Free experience over time. Yeah, that's what it seems like. And I mean, if they're just going to be sitting in my inventory not doing anything, we might as well do this, right? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send out everything we can. It's really cool that there's a search option, though. Wait, what? Search at the bottom? Oh, search! I didn't even see it. Uh... Type? I want... Bug. Did, did I do it? I have, I have to. I have to. Whatever, we're just gonna send random ones now. I mean, what's the worst that's gonna happen if we send normal ones, right? Who is you? Warren Wabuffet. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna send you. Cleo. Miss Cleo. Gotta send her out. I assume so, but I don't I don't have any more bug Pokemon, so. I mean look, they're all gonna go get experience, so yay. If I had more bug types, I would have sent out more bug types. But I'm not going to go specifically out and looking for more bug types, so screw it. We got grass type. I think I sent one of my grass type out there. <laughs> Whoops. So, we sent pumpkin head. We send O'Keefe, the Oddish, and Sneezy. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right. Even though they weren't necessarily ones I wanted to level up, who cares? I dig it. Awesome. Very nifty. Alright. Now, now we're gonna go do the fun thing. We're gonna go shopping for some new duds, some threads. What you got? Oh, I can't see any of it. Take off outerwear. We can get a T. Look at all the hoodies you can get. Get some jacket action. Nice, we got that rotation. Damn, man, this stuff's expensive.
I don't have time for this. <laughs> yeah, I'm done. 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 There's too many options. There's too many talk on options. I was excited. I was really excited to get some clothes for her. And I realized I didn't care enough. <laughs> It was close. It was close. I was really excited to buy some new clothes, and I don't care anymore. <laughs> I'm quite fickle. Every time. Every time. I hit the start button to bring up the menu. It doesn't work that Why is there electricity coming off? We got an electric bike? Whatever. All right. Slow moving, aren't you, youngin? I've already gone and earned my fire badge. That mound of fire cobber is just what you'd expect. Nearly got burnt in my battle with him. Even with my strongest team, it was definitely touch and go. But I still won in the end. Get a shift on, youngin. I bet you could beat the man of fire too. You can't, you can't hate Hop. He's too nice. I want to hate Hop. Wait, why are you here? Oh, he wants to, like, check me out. He wants to cheer me on. Yeah, we're ready. Let's go do it. Let's 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 drop that soda can in the river. I don't know what that means. <laughs> drop that soda can in the river. Different than the others I face. I had to herd sheep. I had to solve a puzzle, a waterfall puzzle in the other. How different can it be, right? Here's this buster. Mm, yes. The gym mission for the fire gym is this. Catching Pokemon to earn the most points. Earn five points to clear the gym mission. In case you were wondering, you'll earn one point for defeating a Pokemon in the tall grass. Or two points for catching a Pokemon. But you won't be alone in this competition. Other trainers will be joining you in your battle. Think about what your opponents might do and try to take the best action to rack up points. Gym mission start. <laughs> He's a weird dude. Alright. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. A Vulpix. I could probably murder it. Suck, Baron. Bye, team. <laughs> uh, don't gotta worry about him anymore. Oh no. How many Pokemon does he have? You suck, Darren. I mean, I guess I could destroy Darren. No Yurtle. Okay, maybe that's like fire versus fire.
Catch it, quickly! Sucks to be Darren! <laughs> Killed one of your Pokemans! Stole the... Goat. Vulpix. As each tail grows, its fur becomes more lustrous. When held, it feels slightly warm. It does not explain it. All what it is. Uh, would I like to name it? Uh, I'm going to call it Horse. <laughs> I don't know what a Vulpix is. It's a horse. Doesn't look like a horse. I don't know what the hell it looks like. Challenger Youngin claims two points. Yeah, I fucked you up, didn't I? Oh. Sizzlipede? I think I fought against one. I don't think I've had the opportunity yet to catch one. As well, try water gun and see how effective it actually is. Oh, it said I couldn't move though. Well, I don't like that. Oh, she is trying to mess with me. Fuck you. I'm gonna... I'm gonna catch the Sizzlepeed. I mean, okay. How many points am I supposed to get? Like, all of them? It wraps prey up with its heated body, cooking them in its coils. Yeah, I would have sent this out if I had one of these, so I definitely didn't have that. Once they're well done, it'll voraciously nibble them down to the last morsel. Uh... Nope. 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 Dude, if there was a fire centipede anywhere near me, flip me the freak out. One more victory. Got it. What's all this stuff? This is actually a kind of cool looking gym. It looks like it's. You know, like an arena for running around and more like Olympic Ori. Oh, I did not want to get into a battle with another Vulpix. I wanted to see what was over here. I wanted to know what the... It's a little candle! Oh, it's adorable. We gotta put the candle out. Read some wild with us on it. I dig it. Nice. Didn't attack me. That's all I care about. Alright. If I can catch this. Good things will happen. So I can heal Yurtle. Oh, 
Oh yeah. We can heal Yurtle. Or I could just send in uh, the big boy. The younger the life this Pokemon absorbs, the brighter and eerier the flame on its head burns. It's a ghost Pokemon. Oh. Like a candle in the wind. It is a female, too. I don't know how. Lady. Lady, die. There we go. That's, that's a good one. There we go, we got Princess Diana there. Congratulations on another mission cleared. Was that everything that we had to do? Clearing Lida Kabu's gym mission like that, you're positively on fire. Next you'll be facing Kabu, the leader of the fire gym. On you go, challenger. Are we just gonna jump right into it? Yeah, no shit. Yeah, let's switch it up. I want to get uh, we're get we're getting ampersand in there. Yurtle, Yurtle did good, but we're getting ampersand in there. We're gonna whoop some butt here. We're just gonna waterfall the shit out of all of his Pokemon. She's got a glove on one hand. Like, what are you doing? Why do you have a glove on? For what for what reason do you need a glove to throw a Pokeball? Or maybe she's left-handed. You know, I didn't notice. Welcome. I am Kabu, the fire-type gym leader. The fact that you are here means you've bested both Milo's Grass-type Pokémon and Nessa's Water-types, too. That's quite an accomplishment. Every trainer in Pokémon trains hard in pursuit of victory. But what? But that means your opponent is also working hard to win. In the end, the match is decided by which side is able to unleash their true potential. Whatever you say, old man. Get ready for the biggest butt whooping of your life. It's getting serious. What the fuck is that thing? What the hell's a nine tail? That looks far more intimidating than my Gyarados. <gasps> Murder it! It did nothing! Waterfall the shit out of it! <laughs> oh, oh, I, I'm sorry, sir. Was that your Pokemans? I'm, I'm so sorry. Where'd the music go? Slam! Oh shit. What's slam? I'm digging the battle music! This is lovely. The target is slammed with a long tail vines or the like to inflict damage. It's just a regular attack. Hmm. Maybe we'll get rid of double hit? Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to replace double hit. For one, I get way more out of that attack, so... Bye-bye double hit. We'll go with slam. Maybe slam has, like, a good crit rate. Arcanine. Nope. Is that what Growlithe turns into? 
No, uh, I got intimidate. I got water pool. It's super effective and only did a little bit of damage. What was the burn heal? There we go. Oh, burns have like an added fuck. Yeah, this kind of sucks. I mean, I also have to burn up a turn to heal him. Oh, that bite hurts, too. I wish that... I wish that they were faster, and I wish I avoided the burn. I think Yertle's gonna have to make the big sub here. There must still must be a path to victory! Oh, he's going down. That's really unfortunate that it, it decreases that much. Uh, use a super potion. He's going to Dynamax. Uh, Gigantamax. I'm sorry, he's gonna Gigantamax. Yeah, not very effective, sure. It just, shit's just burning me! <laughs> we'll go all in. We'll go all in. I'm never gonna kill it because... I got burn on. I can't get rid of it. That would have been great.
really don't want him to go down. Pokemon can't be switched out. But it's all over. Oh, so close! You don't get burned if you win! <laughs> great Pokemon and a great trainer. It's no surprise that you won. Soft. I'm often regarded as the first real roadblock of the gym challenge, and yet you defeated me. Clearly your talent surpassed my many years of experience. I still have much to learn. <laughs> Trots out so gingerly. I know now that you and your Pokemon will become a fantastic team. I'm glad I could battle you today. Let me give you a fire badge as proof that you've defeated me. Suck it, old man. Ampersand the blowfish whims. What up, BG? How you doing, homie? How's Friday treating you? Thanks to the Dynamax phenomenon, our Pokemon battles have become part of the Galar region's culture. And it's the young trainers who are responsible for keeping our culture alive. Of course, I hope that instead of just keeping it alive, you also help it become something better. We adults will be pillars for you to build on. Dude, he's a silver fox. I totally stick my throat down his cereal. What? 76 years old and still has a young spirit. Very true. Very true. That was old people operate. Learn them! I figured that if anyone could do it, you and Gyarados would be the ones, but still! Dude, he said I had a Gyarados. He knew I had a Gyarados. The game's learning! Oh shit, it's sentient! That match had me right at the edge of my seat. Dude, it had me at the edge of my seat. I had like 2 HP there. <laughs> that was an exciting battle. Challenger Youngin. I see you've done a fine job collecting the gym badges from the grass, water, and fire gyms. Please take this TM to commemorate what you accomplished here today. Oh, we got a Will-O-Wisp. So that was the thing that the uh, evolved Growlithe thing was using that constantly burned my, uh, my cool Gyarados. Ampersand. The user shoots a sinister flame at the target to inflict a burn. It seems very situational, but I mean, if if it does decrease damage by half, I mean, that it's helpful. And take one of our uniforms. It's the same design as Kabu himself wears. 
Just gonna, we're just gonna rock our own uniform, man. I think you've proven your skill well enough to try your hand against the gyms that await you, starting in the city of Hammerlock. Head back down into the wild area surrounding the city, then make your way to Hammerlock. With all the badges we've earned ourselves, I reckon we should be alright even against the fierce Pokemon you find deep in the wild area. Let's find out for ourselves. It's been a while since I've been to the wild area, so I want to I wanna do some more of those raids. Like, I'm, I'm like higher level now, I'm feeling like slightly more confident. Let's raid some shit. Mm. Really good for comp like competitive? That makes sense. All that stuff, I think all those like status ailments and stuff like that are more useful if you're going up against like competition for for the game itself i mean you could just kind of like strong arm your way through a bunch of stuff it's so much easier just to do it why did i go back over there oh there was always this girl in the past two gyms that was like i'll learn your name if you win and then she started cheering me on i don't see her that's unfortunate she's not here in moda stoke So, jobs look like they lasted for 24 hours, so I guess I won't get any of those Pokemon I sent out until, I guess, 11 or so tomorrow. Doing well. I'm glad you're doing well, dude. And, by all means, lurk away. Don't, don't, don't let me distract you from your lurk, and you go and enjoy some tea and just... Enjoy whatever you does you do. Hurry it up, youngin! Huh? You're the gym leader, but you still came all the way to see us off? Oh, I bet you can already tell I'm the one who'll become the next champion. Yeah? There are many trainers who never managed to gather three gym badges. And they just give up on the gym challenge altogether. So I make a point to see off any trainers who are able to defeat me. Whew! We made it! Thank goodness for flying taxis! Youngin, Hop, congratulations! It's pretty amazing you two defeated Kabu! Not a lot of gym challenges are able to get a gym badge from Kabu. I can't, I don't remember what I did for his voice. We like to get together and see them off as a way of showing our support. So, allow me to send you off with a proper sporty chant. Hustle, 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 hop. You can do it, you can do it, youngin. That did not rhyme. <laughs> it wasn't even close! The gym leaders you will face ahead are all tough opponents, but I believe that you will prevail. Believe in your Pokémon and keep pushing on! Thanks, you all! We're gonna keep winning. We've got to if we want to have a face-off in the Champion Cup after all. Come on, youngin'. Let's head for Hammerlock. Those kids are going to die soon. <laughs> That's what he was thinking. Hello again, Wild Area, my old friend. I've come back to you even stronger than before. Youngin, Hammerlock is up that way. Got it? Yerp. And yeah, you could certainly rush straight there without a single detour. But now that you and I have a few gym badges, we should be able to catch stronger Pokemon. So I know what I'm doing. I'll be catching myself some amazing Pokemon to fill up in the next page in the tale of my legend. Don't waste your efforts. It's not like either of you would ever make it through the gym challenge anyway. The champion really must have been off his rocker to endorse the likes of you. 
I mean, it seems Hop here can't even throw a Pokeball properly. Rubbish! More like you don't know enough to recognize greatness when you see it. My throws are the greatest, and my bro is the finest champion the world has ever seen. I'm not going to listen to you insulting him. How tiresome. Fine. I'll batter you over there. Maybe that will help you finally understand just how weak you are. You're on them! I know you challenged Young into battle in the Galar Mine Number 2 and lost to her there, and I'm her greatest rival. In other words, there's no way you're beating me. All this prattle about Youngin and the champion and whatnot. Do you not have anything of your own to show? I'll show you this Wally my real skills in battle. So, see you later, youngin. Let's meet up in Hammerlock when I'm through with him. Hope the next time we see him, he's just like this crumbled, bloody mess. <laughs> Oh, I'm excited for all of that, man. Everywhere I went around here, outside of, like, the direct path, everything was difficult. Yeah, alright. Uh, you didn't have any items. Mm, sparkles. Items. But I want to. I want to see what like the stuff is up this way. It was like a giant bear and a robot. Did I catch one of these? Blam! A pan jam. I want to. Level 12? Could we bite him and, you know, not kill him? I don't know if I have one of these. I want, I want the... I want the panda bear. It's so adorable, I just want to squeeze it till its little head pops off! Or attack it once and lower its health and just throw a ball at it. It's only level 12. It's way lower than anything else. I don't I don't think I've caught one of these yet. Wanting to make sure it's taken seriously. Pancham's always giving others a glare. But if it's not focusing, it ends up smiling. It's so cute. It's a playful Pokemon. Is that like it's disposition? It's a playful Pokemon? Uh... Uh-oh. A Pokeball icon shows to the right of the wild Pokemon's name if you caught one already. I don't think I've ever noticed that before. That's helpful. <laughs> I, was, I was wondering if there was any sort of indicator that said otherwise. Uh... We need a name for the panda bear. Um. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Sloth. <laughs> I don't know why I call it sloth, but it's perfect. Alright, we got a bear. We got an adorable, adorable bear. <gasps> what kind of sound is that? I can't see in there. That's right. I don't know what any of these Pokemon are. A Wingle? Dude kind of looks like a doofus. It's raining. <laughs> Thank you, game. Thank you. 
Thank you. I could not tell that it was raining. I mean, I think that only benefits... Whoops. Well, it's dead. <laughs> you get six experience for killing that soft Pokemon. I want to I wanna do a raid. Before I do anything else, I want to do a raid, but I don't... That's a lie. I want to catch this thing. Forty. I don't. I, <laughs> I don't think I'm winning this one. Okay, so some things are still a bit way freaking stronger than I can handle. <laughs> really? Link battle? Swap cards? None of that says raids. Ooh, that's uh, a thing. It's a, a ghastly, that's it. Search stamps by max raid. Okay, I'll do that next time. I clearly, I clearly did not look hard enough. See, now that's more, it's more like up my alley here. Uh, let's see what Bite does. Got it. It it, it murders the ghastly. <laughs> I didn't I didn't even have a chance to catch it. Oh, we can catch another one. Okay. So, lesson learned. Don't bite it. I got a feeling if I use Waterfall, though, that's probably going to kill it, too, because... I mean, Gyarados is just crazy strong. Well, got a level, so it's, it's, now even, it's now even stronger. Rain Dance? Hello, what are you? The user summons a heavy rain that falls for five turns, powering up water type. Oh, I think I already had something similar to that. I don't think I want that. It's all good. I'm not, I'm not, not impressed by that one. We need something better. Mo better. I want to get a ghastly. Before I do anything, I want to grab a ghastly. And then we'll do a raid. So I'm going to switch things up. We're going to bring in... Maybe free Medicaid. We'll swap her up to the top and see see what she can do. I don't know what. what dude, like hustled away from her. Cowards, cowards! I tell you, cowards! Let's right, see if fire is just regularly effective. So, don't kill it. The fuck? That thing's gonna kill me! Bite it! <laughs> Get out of there! Fucking ghastly! I did not expect that to happen. Get out of no! Just want to get out of the the tall grass. Kill it! Oh, that's right. 
when it's raining, that lowers the attack power of fire moves. And also murders my shoot Growlithe! I just want to find a Pokemon that's not going to straight up murder a Ghastly. Right, let's poke it with a branch. I guess that's not a Ghastly, it's a Dusk. Du duskull. Dooskull. God damn, those things hit hard. Why does it hit so hard? Because I'm bad. I'm bad at video games. Stay in there. Stay in there. Stay in there. Alright. It's not what I wanted, though. It's not what I wanted. Alright, what is this thing? It's a ghost type, clearly. Or I'm gonna make that assumption that it's a ghost type. It is a ghost type. Requiem Pokemon. Making itself invisible, it silently sneaks up to prey. It has the ability to slip through thick walls. Okay. Uh... Squeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
crap is a Zatu? <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta growl if all these other things are like 8th level evolved. I'm, I'm still a scrub. This was a bad decision! Win all Dynamax off the jump. <laughs> Look how big they are! I just want to bite it. I don't even know what that means. Did, did, did it get a shield? It was a gnarly looking attack though. Oh, it is kind of like a shield. I mean, I helped take down its shield. That's that's something. Yeah, I didn't do a lot, but I but I helped take down its shield. I done helped. I done helped. We'll bite again. Bite seems to to work. I mean, I feel as low as. Long as it doesn't come directly at me, I'll be okay. Well, there it is. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> of of course. Of course that's what was going I had no business being in this anyway. I had no business being in this fight. Zero. That was hilarious. <laughs> but it's true. As long as it didn't come directly at me, everything would have been fine. But of course it did. And it should pick on the weakest one. It absolutely should. Oh, I can't do anything? Sorry. I, di I didn't know if I could like throw out another one so I could just cheer on. Go team! Go team! Go team! <laughs> Go team! Go team! No, whatever I get from this I won't end up using. At least immediately, maybe later on. I don't want to... I'm not going to say cheat, but I don't I don't want to I don't want to get like an unfair advantage. I kind of want to go to the game, go through the game more along the way it was along the lines that it was intended to go. Does everyone get a chance to catch the Pokemon, or is it just like if I throw a fucking ball out, nobody else gets a chance at it? Oh, I can't catch it then. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I can only do 40, so it doesn't matter. Okay, I guess I can catch it, but I can't do anything with it. Does that do anything, though? Okay. Okay. I didn't want to, like, take something away, like, if this was something you were looking for, and I was just like, ah, I'm going to take it from you. I didn't even think about that. Extra large. Yeah, I shouldn't, I really shouldn't use any of that stuff. 
at least until later in the game. I don't want to unfair advantage myself. This odd Pokemon can see both the past and the future. It eyes the sun's movement all day. Mystic Pokemon. So what, is this like some sort of like super rare Pokemon? Uh... Let's see. I have no idea how to spell Quetzalcoatl. <laughs> that's, about as, that's about as close as I'm gonna get. I think I can't use you because you're like 10 billion levels too high. Right? Experience candies are how you level up to 100 in late game. Well, that's good to know. But yeah, I don't want I don't want to do any of that stuff right now. I I feel it's like unfair advantage that I could take and I don't want to I want to I want at least a little bit of a challenge, you know, while the game is going on. Oh shit. And I mean, I, I know as of right now, even with me wandering around, like, I can tell that I'm staying right on the line of what, like, the gyms are. And I like that. So as long as I'm, like, battling and moving on at, like, the same pace that the, the game is going so far and really not, like, overstepping anything, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna have an okay chat. Oh, shit. Wanted to catch the onyx. I'm gonna have an okay time going through this. I'd like a little bit of a challenge and not, you know, just. It is fun beating the shit out of everything, I will say that. That is fun. I just don't want to steamroll everything. Which is probably gonna happen anyways. <laughs> Aww. I want, I want the, I want the Onyx to come back. All right, where are some raids that are more, more my speed? There were a bunch of lights over here before, and now it seems that they're gone. All right, let's see what this guy's got. Pangoro! Please don't hurt me. 32? Shit, we can handle that. Uh. Let's do it. Let's throw down. Guy's only a couple levels higher. I think we can manage this. Fuck! If it didn't critical hit, that may have been okay. Miss! 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 Hootie was about to gain a level, too. We might I mean, it's raining, right? So I might as well use a water Pokemon. It wasn't nearly as effective as I thought it was going to be. Nice, it flinched. Let's headbutt it again. Ah, I 
it's going to punch my dick off. <laughs> That's what it's, it's going to punch my dick off. Catch it! Okay, it didn't quite punch it off, but that, that was rough. That was some good damage that it did. Catch it. Catch it. I know, it appeared to be caught. If it keeps powering up, it's gonna destroy me. Stop it! Be kind, good sir. No! Okay, you know what? He can keep charging up. If he just wants to continue to charge up for the next like four or five times it's gonna take to collect them, I'm okay with that. No, you dick! We're still okay. Still okay. Yeah, all right. Well, Yurtle, Yurtle dead. Yurtle dead. Oh. These are expensive balls. Don't you know? You don't want to KO your whole team if it keeps doing that. It's okay if it kept doing that. As long as it, it didn't attack ever, it's okay if it kept doing that. But God damn it, you're right. Use use yawn. Ugh, oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. On the plus side, uh, we got the angry panda bear with a cape. Using its leaf, Pangoro can predict the moves of its opponents. It strikes with punches... That can turn a dump truck into scrap with just one hit. I'm assuming our little our little bear turns into the big Pangoro when it evolves. Uh yeah. Uh, did did I already name thing one man punch? I didn't name anything one man punch. One man. I don't think I got enough letters. Six? No, that's enough. P U N C H. There we go. We, had, we even had one left. That fucker's intimidating. Level 32? He's not bad. He may be worth. I want to level up the, the little one, though, because it's always better. At least from my understanding that if you Rotom Ra What? What's Rotom Rally? Improve my bike. I got a thousand W. even know what I just did yeah let's do the Rotom rally the meetup spot 50 seconds I don't know where that is push for the finish line while snagging the big balloons no
I don't know what the secret to going faster is. Oh, this was the meetup spot, got it. A slow way to earn more watts? Cross the finish line, congratulations. Feel free to try again anytime. Splendid. That's the first Rotom Rally you've successfully completed. Here's a little souvenir for the occasion. You also get TMs from it. The user launches a weak jolt of electricity that paralyzes the tower. Oh, so it's worthless. I mean, that's cool. I would like to try the other one, though. Right, this is kind of fun. I said there was some sort of boost, but I don't know how to use it. I got a bell, though. Yeah, that's, all that does is just change the camera angle. No! Why would I withdraw? Bad video game. Oh, it's the other dude that's over here. Yeah, gotcha. Why, you've achieved the newest high score. Congratulations, that's very impressive. What? R makes you boost? Or B? None of those seem to do anything. The dappled grove. I thought I was I was hitting. Hold B, hit B, none of it seems to do at least in the race here it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Unless I'm supposed to, like, continually hit it. What the hell was that thing? Well, at least B wasn't doing anything. It didn't seem that R was doing anything. Well, I got a high score somewhere, so that's pretty nifty. Alright, I want to find another, uh, raid. And what the hell is this thing? Jill, what are you, your big teddy bear? He's so cuddly. She does kind of take off with the B button. R doesn't do anything. B does. I'm holding, I'm holding R down. Wait. Oh. Wait, something happened. Yeah, I don't get it. Oh, so like when you see the sparks, that's when you can get the boost. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I want to raid! Yeah, I'm, I'm not seeing anything. That was a big ass bird. Oh, big ass bird! I get it. Uh oh, this may be bad! It was good. It's fine.
Use your strikes everything around it by stomping down on the ground. This lowers the speed stats of those it hit. I like the sound of that bulldoze. That sounds intimidating as hell. Now, all these freaking nerds have uh, done all the raids around here. Really want whatever that swim ability is gonna be. I want to remember to go. But all right, let's see what you are. Big rock thing. Oh, Rhydon. Oh, but it says it's strong looking. We can't fight it. Forty six is yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Ah, free Medicaid. On the plus side, we're gonna run. I just, I just want to level up my growl with a little bit. What the hell are you? It's like sperm rock. That's weird looking. Whatever. Uh Ooh, hello. Right there. That's what I'm talking about. Right there. I see I see you light. Here we go. Blamo. Invite the world. Well, I'm excited now. I don't recall. Can anyone join these, or is it just, like, people that you know online? Like, whatever that you have, you know, friends of. I don't, I don't recall whether it explained that or not. Yeah, well, whatever. Let's just do it. Yep. Start it. Yep. 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 It's fine. Anyone can join, but friends get a notification. Oh, okay. Well, that's cool. That's actually really cool. But then you have to be kind of like on the lookout. So that's what those stamps in the corner are saying. They're basically going, hey! Come join me. Not exactly ideal here. Yeah, that, that did that did like no damage. That's good. That's good. Oh, but Pikachu. It's not effective at all. I thought I was supposed to get healed up. Or did I get hit? I can't Dynamax. Bite it. Bite it good. Bite its eyes out. Don't attack me. Ugh. Ugh. Pikachu, you gotta do all the attacking. Not gonna win. We are not going to win. Yeah, that's gotta be what I need to use is the fire thing. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's what hit me at the beginning of the fight. That's the the first attack is what hit me. The big airstream thing. Yeah. I saw the attack go out. I just didn't know who it hit, and everyone else had full health, so that must have been me. Gets passed around round robin. Or like mine isn't charged up yet. Like, doesn't it need to be fully charged before you can use it? Oh, yeah, we didn't have any, like, abilities that uh, gave us stat boost, so that didn't affect me in any way. Nice. I don't need a Corvus Squire. If you're hosting and you don't use it, someone else gets the chance. And if you're playing with NPCs, you have to wait till turn five before you have the option again. But it didn't look like I even had any sort of chance at using it, you know, at all. I thought it needed to be charged. Because that, that meter was, you know, going up. I don't know if I can do the ones over there. I think those may be a little too hard. Just cheese it. Oh, yeah. Aw. I thought I thought I saw uh, something going up here. Gosh darn it. I see it glowing. I just want to get over to it. Don't go away. I'll be right there, ya big shiny light. Uh huh. Blurk, blurk, blurk. I'm a coming. Alright, is this a thing? What? I didn't know that's what that was. Oh, well that's cool. Host can always Dynamax on turn one. That's cool. We're camping! Hi! Stupids! Aw. But I was playing with the Pokemon in the camp. Jerk. You're just a jerk. We're playing with all the Pokemon. I didn't realize that that's what that is. Those signals are people camping. I can't tell what color that shit is. Yellow or orange? Joins the entire party of the person hosting the camp? What? So, my Pokemon just goes by and is like, sup. Right? That's why my Pokemon is the one walking around and then they have... However many of theirs meandering about. I just want... I've never entered somebody else's camp, so I just wanted to, you know, kind of see what would happen there. Which... They really left before I could do much of anything. Alright, I guess I guess the best thing to do is to go into here and 
Wait. Oh, that's it, right? Seeking? What? Oh, Max Raid. Do you often find people that join you in your raids? Just like random? Gonna block you. <laughs> oh, that's why it wasn't there. I see. Huh. Yeah, I did, I did, I did, I hit X. Is there a way to see how how strong anything is? Oh, I got you. I got you. Oops. Man, this is disappointing. I just want to do some raids. But the only way to see that is to actually join in. I was hoping that somewhere on the outside it would tell you otherwise. I want the Onyx. Just like when, you know, the stamp popped up. Like, it'd be more helpful if there was, you know, like a star on it somewhere that said, Oh yeah. Oh yeah. But they're all dead. <laughs> forgot. I forgot they're all dead. That's what I thought it did. I thought it I thought it was already a commitment to it. It's still silly when that information can be displayed before you join in. I feel like that's a unnecessary step. I mean, it's not a lot of information that you need. You just need to, like, give, like, how many stars or whatever level the fight is. That's really, I think, based on <laughs> the prior experiences I've, I've had with that, that's all that you need. I thought it was supposed to fall asleep. Oh, now it's asleep. So it still gets a chance to attack. And then it goes to sleep. Gotcha. How does it come out when it's asleep? Usually just do solo raids that are three to four stars. How are you finding raids so quickly? Like all the little areas around me always seem to be... Not available. Used. 
used. Maybe because they're higher leveled? That could be it. Rock Snake Pokemon. It rapidly bores through the ground at 50 miles per hour by squirming and twisting its massive rugged body. I dig it. Oh, we got it. Big, big, big worm. Craig, how you get fired on your day off? Big worm. What, 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 what up, big perm? <laughs> what, what up, big perm? I, well, I mean, I assume that. None of, none of the ones around here seem to have a uh, nice little light coming out of them. It's disappointing, I'll tell you that. I just won't get funky. I just won't get funky. They reset at certain intervals. Yeah, that's what I assume that you could see the beams. Like, that's camping. Right there. I'm assuming this color is camping. I don't know what color that is. Yellow? Orange? Gold? I'm, I'm assuming that's a camping light. Ow! Yeah. Those are all camping lights. Hmm. Uh. Thing! I'm gonna catch you, Haunter. It's orange. Orange. Ooh, I can do something with this one. We'll bite it. It's using spite? Was super effective. Let's burn it a little. Just a smidgen. Curse. Well, if I knew it was gonna do that to itself, I wouldn't have used the fire vein. <laughs> it killed itself. The stupid thing killed itself. It did like seppuku on me. Free Medicaid learns retaliate. What's retaliate? User gets revenge for a fainted out. Oh. Yeah, I've seen that. I have a TM or something like that of that. Hootie. Nothing. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go down by the side over here. I could cross that bridge and see if there's anything a little more available over here. Because all these dens are are used. And that's just disappointing. Hmm. Dude, I want the shiny thing. No, my shiny thing. Uh. Oh, we gotta go back across the bridge. I thought I could cut across here. But you cannot. That's disappointing. That's a big ass skunk. Can I fight one of these guys? Man, yeah, everywhere I look, all the dens are already uh, dealt with. Oh, you can. Nice. Uh, none of what I have is like really effective, so let's burn it!
Uh, that's about right. Let's burn it! Oh, yeah, you're dead. I ain't got no luck. Yurtle seems to tank stuff fairly well. Even though none of that's going to be effective. Do we have anything that's super effective? Booty? I kind of want to catch him, though. I think I'm just going to use Yurtle. Yurtle can tank some damage here. Got high defense. Just a water gun. See what kind of damage that does and then try to catch it. That was nothing. I thought I was going to do like a little more damage than that. That is very much not effective. Headbutt it! That did it. Catch my choke. Bitch got out of there. And then slap me in the dome. Catch the sucker. He's got no health. That fucking hurt. <laughs> He's killed two of my Pokemans. Fake boners, get out there. Oh no! Oh no! Yawn at him! I ain't sweating it! Uh, yawn at him again! I wish there was a defend option. I wish there was a defend option. That would be nice. That way I wouldn't have to... Right, but I meant... I meant just in... In general. So, like, on a turn like that... Obviously, I didn't have a technique that I could have used other than Yawn. Because all the other ones would have killed him. But I needed to do something so that I wasted a turn so that he would fall asleep. I'm just saying, like, I wish there was, like, just standard defense. Like, I get Protect and Shell and whatever those... Reflect... I guess, like, all those other attacks like that. It, I, I, I get the purpose that they serve. I just wish there was just, like... <laughs> somehow, hide in the corner, you know? <laughs> get on out of there. That's, that's what I want. It's all good. Superpower Pokemon. Neat. It's formidable body never gets tired. It helps people by doing work such as the moving of heavy goods. Oh. Weren't these the dudes at the beginning of the game that helped me and my mom move into the house? Uh... No... Rope. Uh. Nope. Neat. We could put spaces or dashes. Do dashes. Bam. Rope a dope. Bing bing. You see something sparkle, you gotta pick it up. 
You gotta pick it up. I got one of you. I got a Gyarados. I forgot that that was a thing. I don't know what the fuck that is. That scared me. It screamed at me. <laughs> If something's gonna scream at you, it's kind of frightening. Thought I saw. Yeah, I did. Cool. There's a distinct thunderbolt pattern. It helps Pokemon evolve. Neat. None of these are glowing. Not a single one of these is letting off anything shine. A week and a half ago, just about all these dens were like lighting up and now nothing is. Considering that like 30 of my po- yeah, and nothing over here is... It's a Snorlax. Well, you can't put a Snorlax to sleep because they're already sleeping. The Snorlax be taking naps anyways. Jesus. I want to try to catch one of those. And a brony. I'll be a brony. It's nice that the game gives you like a hint in the loading screen that it's like, oh, yeah, you know, um, you're supposed to go here. Just in case it's been a hot minute since you last played. I'm down with that. That's good stuff. It's always nice to have that kind of thing available to you. I still want to do a raid. None of them are available. I'm, I'm getting I'm getting saddened by the fact that I do not have that none of these things are lighting up. Something that's also bothersome is that it's nice to be able to have the the 3D camera in the open field here. Why would they lock you out of being able to move the camera in towns and stuff like that. What? You clearly can let me use it while riding around in an open field. Why not? Why not allow us to ride, uh, use the camera elsewhere? I got a few Jim Badgerinos. Thanks. All right. Let's get the is I probably can't catch this yet. Can't. Oh, it's very strong. Yeah, that's what I thought. I don't think it was. Oh, it's not that much stronger. Eight levels is still kind of a bit much. I'm really disappointed that all these all these dens are. There's got to be something somewhere, right? Fuck are you? There's some, there is some weird shit. Some Pokemon look 
very peculiar. Quite, quite queer. Let's see what this guy's got going on. Sigilif? Sigil? Sigil? Sigilif? Sigilif. Uh oh. Uh, don't, don't. What? I couldn't get away. The game be cheating. All right. Let's see if we can do damage to Sigil Lift. I'm gonna die to it. Whole lot of damage there. Whole lot of damage. Oh, you piece of scum. It kicked me out of the battle? <laughs> Fucker. That's just mean. I do not agree with that. It killed my Growlithe. Punk ass Bidja game. It looks like I'm not gonna find another raid. Like all the all the dens that I've come across have all been non raidy. I'm saddened by this. But it does not appear that good things are going to come my way. Now, if what I've seen holds true, the enemies across the bridge, or at least the ones that I fought, were around level 36. So I should probably be getting close to those levels. I would imagine that the other enemies around there are probably around 30. It's so weird that I can't find one. Hey, am I just missing something? Am I game busted? I'm saddened by this. Let's try searching again. Max raid. Hey, look. I, I found I found Thunder Raja. He he found one. Load new stamps. How how high level are you doing? Five. Gosh, that's so high. So I'm jealous. Can you usually tell by the shape of the Pokemon? Like, you would know. Like, oh yeah, no, that's that's gonna be it's gonna be a high level one. It doesn't matter at all. Yeah, I figured as much. Once once you do enough of them, I would assume that you could. I could join it, but then, I mean, you're right. I'm gonna... I don't want my level to go, like, crazy soaring up. And I'll die again. I will definitely die again. I'll die again. Because that's what happens. You know, I get my butt whooped. Oh, you found someone. Uh oh. <laughs> All right, psychic and flying. I probably shouldn't use Growlithe. Uh, 
I don't recall what was strong against that. Psychic. Fire. Eh, whatever. <laughs> whatever. <gasps> whatever! Dreadnought's a good choice. Well, then it's a good idea that I randomly chose Dreadnought, then, isn't it? <laughs> Just happened to be the right choice. It's a big, weird bat. Swoo bat. Got it. Okay. Oh. Ah, it's not like it matters. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die. Dynamax! <laughs> I would so wish that there was just a little bit of voice acting in this. Yeah, yeah. It does indeed. I was contemplating between the two because, well, they're both super effective. I just wanted to see if I would crit. Oh man, that thing is going nuts! Don't worry, I'll bite it. <laughs> we'll do rock to him. If I can, if I can lower stats, I guess that's probably the most helpful thing that I can do. Because I'm not going to do a ton of damage. So it's probably more helpful that I, like, actually help out in some semi-meaningful way. My shield! It's super effective. Oh, it, get, it got its shield back. So it stays down only for a little while. It's interesting. Oh, it healed itself. That was cool. It's not guaranteed that the speed will go down. This is interesting. Oh, communicating. It's like a 30% chance right, so it's never guaranteed.
Well, there he goes. I would. That was my assumption. Is that the shield probably prevented any sort of ailments or debuffs? Dynamax candy. I've gotten a bunch of those try attacks. It's interesting that you do not get experience from those. The experience you get is the candies. I think that's fascinating. Also a little strange. Did I catch a bug? Hi, bug! Yeah. I'm assuming that's, that's the way. It's just... It's strange not getting experience at the end of a battle, but getting the candies means you can hand them out to whomever you please. I'm assuming. Uh, don't kill it. Only like 13 levels higher, so bite shouldn't kill it, right? Oh, it's dead. Oh, it's not dead. Ninjask. Nin, 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 ninjask. It just wants to be caught. I need to go buy more great balls. I'm definitely running low on that. Stupid panda bear jacked me up. Ninja Pokemon. Okay. It's a bug and flying. Got it. This Pokemon is so quick, it is said to be able to avoid any attack it loves to feed on tree sap. It didn't avoid my attack. Um... I don't I don't have anything fancy. I have scroll. I have scroll. Ninja scroll. Ninja scroll was I think like the first anime I ever saw. Disturb the shit out of me. What is that? That is a big bright light. Yeep. That is such a big bright light. I don't remember seeing that. I want to put my mouth on it. It's going to be gone. I think that's also in, like, an area that has, like, stupidly tough enemies. I got no way of getting over there. That is really far. That is cool. A mixer? <laughs> you, you, you mean it's for dating? Come to the hot singles mixer! There's one. That's... I think that's an appropriate color. That looks pinkish to me. Yay! Uh, finally! Jesus Christ, it's been like 400 hours. Three? Whatever. Uh, normal and flying. Maybe, maybe we'll do that. Rock is strong against flying, I think. So maybe we'll do that. I 
We'll do Yurtle again. I don't mind using Yurtle. Yurtle be rocking it. No for Ninjask? What? <laughs> what? A mixer? So Ninjask can like get all like bonerific? Maybe I should go over there and check it out anyways? Is it still there? It's still there. Alright, let's go check it out. Might as well. What's the worst that could happen? Let's go see the giant swirling beam of light. Nothing ever bad has happened from putting your face into a giant swirling beam of light. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Steel. I think fire is good against steel, right? So I should keep... I should keep Growlithe in there. Because that's the only fire one that I have. At least I think that's what I remember. I think I've only fought one other metallic Pokemon. And I think fire is what was strong for. I drink a lot of water. Nice. So I made I made a good decision then. I made a good good decision. I'm too impatient to wait. So it seems like every type of Pokemon has at least two or three weaknesses. So that's kind of cool. So there's... You almost always have, like, someone in your retinue that you'll be able to use... Against everything, as long as you're not being an idiot. <laughs> and have, like, the same kind of Pokemon for everything. Alright, I've waited long enough. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do the computer. I don't have patience. I got zero patience! I love the dude with the top hat. I want a top hat now. The young lady with the top hat. So I can Dynamax off the jump here? So we could just go for it. We can just... <laughs> well this is cool. I haven't done that yet. I'm excited. The only Dynamax I've ever done is in like the stadium battles for the gym, so this is cool to be able to do it in the raid. Well, it said it was just two star. I imagine I can handle two star. That's a cool looking Pokemon. Well, there you go. Yeah, two stars seemed manageable, I guess. It's a shiny Como Wo. Got some electricity, though. Uh, 
Oh, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good. It's electric. Boogie, woogie, woogie. So a shiny is supposed to kind of have, like, sparkles that go around it, right? How do how do how do you tell that it's a shiny? Is the only way to see it like in your inventory or I have never seen that pokemon in my life before, so I have no idea what would make it different than a standard one. What up Nate? How you doing, homie? How is your Friday-ish? evening going. <laughs> In some cases it'll sparkle. It's mostly gray. Well, it's a cool look. At, regardless, it's a cool looking one. I like the green on it. Sekiro won Game of the Year. Yeah, I saw. I actually went and watched a bunch of the trailers today from the Game Awards, and some of them actually look kind of cool. I mean, I'm I'm glad Sekiro won, but at the same time, I was just like, eh? <laughs> I think it's cool, though. I'm glad it does. It definitely deserves the attention that it's garnered. I was really surprised. I looked at the list of what games were up for Game of the Year, and they had Smash on there, which I thought was really strange, because didn't Smash Brothers come out, like, a year and a half ago? Didn't it come out in like November last year? Why why would it be on on like a list of game of the year when it didn't come out in 2019? It came out in 2018. That one that one was a bit confusing to me cuz I recall dumping in like a 100 and like 20 hours or 50 hours into that game last year, not this year. Maybe because they were adding in, like, DLC content and stuff like that. I just thought that was strange. But I was glad to see Resident Evil 2 on there. I only played two of them. I only played Resident Evil 2 and Sekiro. But Death Stranding was on there. I'm sure that deserves whatever accolades it's garnered as well. And then there was Outer Worlds. Outer Worlds, which looks really awesome. A lot, lot of Fallout-y. But yeah, I only played two of those. I guess technically three. And then the other one, I don't recall what it was. Of the... Of the six. Nope, can't think of it. Doesn't matter. It's cool that Sekiro won. A lot of the game trailers were really nifty. It's suspected that... Clink were the inspiration behind ancient people's invention of the first gears. It's an animal. Clink. Uh. Uh. No. Ma. To. Oh. I don't know how to spell onomatopoeia. <laughs> onomatopoeia. Close enough! <laughs> Wait, what? You played the Stairway to Heaven solo, dude? That's awesome. I don't know what the solo is. Is it, is it like Jimmy Page guitar solo, or is it uh, Bonham on the drums? Isn't that isn't the solo the drums, right? Yeah, it's close enough. On a On your guitar. I don't think I recall it. it. It's I should know more Led Zeppelin than this. I've heard Stairway to Heaven probably more times than I can realize, but 
for whatever reason, my brain is just blanking right now. How long did it take you to learn it? I mean, congratulations regardless. That's nifty. How much time did you... Did you spend a crap ton of time practicing and learning it? Where did you play it? Did you have like a... Were, were, you, were you at a concert or something like that? You, you, your concert? You got a band? You got a group? There's still some lights around. Cool. Let's go do some more raid stuff. <laughs> I recall you telling me about that. Accidentally left it on. Crank that bad boy. I think 300 is probably more times than I've ever heard the song. My favorite Led Zeppelin album is probably their first one. Led Zeppelin Uno. Just used all your free time to learn it? That's cool, though. I dig it, man. Congratulations. How, how good are you at it? Good with all, like, the chord progressions and stuff like that? Psychic. So, a, a ghost Pokemon would be strong against that. Right? Or... I can do... Hootie? I think Pluck. I think Flying is strong against that? I don't remember. No, I don't think I need any help. I think I'll do... I gotta learn this anyway, so... Whatever. We'll do... We'll do Hootie. And if... That's smart, it's smart. If it's not, I die. It's all good. Let's just go for it. Yeah, ghost. Oh, dark. Crap. Well... Whatever. It'll be what it is. Muna? 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 Give me that money. Uh, you want, well, let's just Dynamax because we can. Max Darkness. What does that do? Special defense. Oh, but it is a dark type attack. So, even though I'm an idiot, I still manage to do something right. How long have you been playing? I, I it's been a while since you since I talked to you about it, Nate. But how long have you been playing guitar? I'm impressed with people that can play the guitar. And the drum. Shit, any instrument. What am I talking about? It's impressive any time anyone plays an instrument. I killed it. <laughs> I killed it. It is... It is dead. That was very, very quick with the murder. That's awesome, dude. Are you self-taught? Or did you get lessons? Or is it like a little bit of a combination between both of them? Some lessons, mainly self-taught kind of thing. I caught Muna. Muna. Munana. Dig it, man. It's awesome. 
It eats dreams and releases mist. The mist is pink when it's eating a good dream and black when it's eating a nightmare. Does that mean it can like evolve into something evil? Uh Oh, Mr. Sandman. Bring me a dream. Make it the finest that I've ever seen. Yeah, we can even afford to put like, space in there and everything. Anito Bandito. Do you have any aspirations as far as playing the guitar is concerned? What the hell is this thing? A golet? It looks like a golem. It's strong. I mean, it's rock, I assume, so it's probably strong against physical and fire. did okay though I am defense Ugh. it's all good we are going to throw a great ball at it and pray for the best I'm saying do you have like any aspirations with the guitar goals, orientations. Do you want to, like, do something on your own? Do you just want to keep it as a hobby? Do you want to, like, join a group? Some shit like that. You gonna be a singer? Singer? Songwriter? I don't know. Who, who's that? John Mayer? There you go. Eruption Freebird song. Right, you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta be John Mayer, man. Love is a battlefield. I don't know any John Mayer songs. I was gonna try to sing one there, but I literally don't know any. Love is war. Love is... There's something like battling in love. Just some goals that you would like to accomplish? Yeah, that's, that's fair. Automaton Pokemon. Oh, it's Ground and Ghost. I was wrong. I thought, well, I guess Ground is Rock. Stone, whatever, right? This Pokemon was created from clay. It received orders from its master many thousands of years ago, and it still follows those orders today. I remember the Golem. Um, was that Faust? No, Faust wasn't the golem, right? Faust is its own thing. The golem was it something else? Sorry, my brain was <laughs> my brain just went down a weird route there. Uh We're just going to call him Dirty. Dirty. Alright, is there another raid around here? That was cool. I mean, that was a brand new... Pokemon. Oh, all the way back over there. Jeepers Creepers, that is far. Let's get over there. That's cool. I totally dig it. Way, 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 way long ago, I could somewhat play the piano. And I just chalk that up to the fact that at one point in time I could read music. And so, kind of like self-taught myself the piano. One, one Christmas my parents got me a, not like a real synthesizer, but kind of like one of those like cheaper ones. 
And so I learned to read music, and so I just started playing on that. And I was I wasn't great by any means, but I mean the fact that like I was like, oh, I could play just about anything, which isn't true. But like I got some like workbooks from a friend who actually knew how to play the piano, and so I would just like sit around in my room and try to practice the piano. It was okay, but I sure as fuck couldn't do it now. <laughs> there is there is no way in the world I could do that now. People that can play instruments I'm always jealous of. It's a cool thing. And guitar was something I just couldn't do. My dad can play the guitar and he tried to teach me some like chords and stuff like that and I was like, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. My hands playing video games is one thing, like doing two separate things with that, but doing the guitar thing was just... My brain did just not wrap around that well at all. Uh, I think that's definitely cool. I dig it. Ooh! Hello! So, normal in flying. I should do uh ground, right? Rock, ground, rock, ground. Rock. They they are different. Rock and ground are different. Oh man, I'm an idiot. I thought they were the same thing. Why are they why are they not the same thing? <laughs> Uh, let's go with let's go with the rock. It's either rock or ground. Yeah, we'll go we'll go with Yurtle. I think that's right. Yeah, rock is super effective. That's I'm never in a million years going to remember. <laughs> like, like, what weaknesses and strengths are. I'm just, I'm never going to do it. Well, okay, some. Some I will remember. Some I'm not. It makes sense that ground isn't because they're flying. So anything on the ground, obviously, it wouldn't affect them. I think, I think there's a, a logic behind that. Alright, whatever, good enough. <laughs> sure. Oh, I'm out of water. I want water. What? What? That's some good shit right there. Wasabi peas? <laughs> I don't... I don't know why I got some wasabi peas up here, man, but... Hell yeah, wasabi peas. right there get him man whatever your jolteon is soft <laughs> someone brought a magic carp the NPCs brought a magic carp <laughs> it's dead <laughs> Magic Army just immediately got killed. Stupid computer. Wait, why is the Magic Card still alive? It survived with like one HP and managed to attack. That's amazing. Alright, 
I gotta give it up for that magic carp. Gotta give it up for that magic carp. It nearly got killed. It had a focus sash. I don't know what that means. I still find it hilarious that the computer was like, "Yeah, this is this is the right one to do." I am not doing any damage. That prevents one hit KO. Oh! It makes sense why the Magic Harp would have that because the Magic Harp is probably going to get its butt whooped. Hmm. It's back! No, dude, it just popped up! The fucker's back! Oh, you meant, you meant the Knocked Owl is dead? I thought you meant the Magic Carp. How the hell did the Magic Carp come back? Uh, I think I caught a Knocked Owl, so I don't think I need to grab this one. You killed the shit out of that thing. That's not just a little dead, that's like dead dead. This TM seems to pop up all the time. Try attack. If someone on your team gets KO'd, they sit out one turn before returning it. They can come back? I didn't know that. I thought they were gone gone. Like when I got murdered. Oh, when that shit gets in your nose, holy crap. <laughs> Horseradish is not that spicy, but... It can get you every once in a while. Mm. I love wasabi peas. Those things are so delicious. That's it, it's just... Crack right there. Um, was there another one over here? Is that one? Ah! Mm. Why would you want to solo the raids? Or just kind of like... One of those badges, oh, maybe because you do, like, more damage and stuff, it takes longer. Because the NPCs do, like, dumb shit, right? That's it. Jukes! Your Pokemon are built for competitive? I mean, I got you for that. Oh. Dude, Squishy. We don't need others. Flying, so... I forgot to swap my Pokemon. Oh, well, whatever. So, depending on where I get one of those raids, yeah, none of them are like crazy. What, what, what did that do? It's just a dark attack. So, which one of mine are? 
Oh, no, I wanted this. I wanted to know what, which ones of these are the most effective. All right, yeah, well. yeah, I mean, it's one star. I will, I will destroy this thing. So it seems like it's very area-based how strong the raids are going to be. So I would imagine that if I went further in, the higher level the raids are. Ah. There you go. Dead. <laughs> One shot. Oh, really? That's interesting. So it's up to a certain level point. I dig that, though. I totally dig that. So I can handle one and two stars. Three is a bit rough. Three is a bit high for me right now. Oh, before I forget, I want to go back into town and buy more Pokeballs. I definitely, definitely need some more, some more great ones. Can I get the, is that a Paris? Is that what these are called, Paris? Nope, that's the Kingler. Aren't Paris crabs, though? Of course it's not very effective. We're gonna bite it. Right in the... Right in the booger. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. Mm-hmm. Nope, 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 nope. Yeah, but if you have a Kingler, can't you have a Paris? I thought Paris evolved into Kingler. I mean... I have no reference point. I just made an assumption. You're thinking Krabby? Sure, why not? <laughs> sure. I'm thinking Krabby. They're all crabs. I just assumed that they were all the same thing, I guess. That's 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 my ignorant ass not knowing enough about Pokemon. I just I made I made a wild wild assumption. It could have been correct. It could have been. It's not, but it could have been. Oh come on. Butt nugget. I mean, I guess I could put it to sleep, right? I want to laugh when I'm using like the great Pokeballs and then the standard Pokeball catches it. <laughs> Proves that the great Pokeballs are no better than standard Pokeballs. That's just proof. It's all up here. Price of Pokeball is meaningless. It's oversized claw is very powerful, but when it's not in battle, the claw just gets in the way. I got, I got a great name for you. Uh... D le delicious. I don't even like crab. <laughs> I don't. <clears throat> so what is the most delicious Pokemon? Right? The the milk tank. Didn't we talk about this before? The milk tank. Milk tank's gotta be like making some delicious burgers and shit. Mmm. Mmm. 
Mmm. Milk tank. All cream? What's an all cream? Already sounds creepy to me, but... <laughs> Is it is it just one that looks like a a, a giant ice cream cone? <clears throat> it's literally yeah, I I al creamy, all creamy, all creamy, like alchemy, alchemy. That's what I'm going with. It's like alchemy, but with dessert. I dig it. I'm down. A higher success rate for catching Pokemon than a standard Pokeball, but for some reason I still catch a crap ton with that. No, I don't want to buy that many. 30 though. Hmm. Continue to hit the same stupid button over and over and over and over. Alright, I think that's going to do it for me tonight. It is 1.30 in the morning. I am super tired. I'm going to get some water and uh, probably just fall right asleep. Uh, I've got a Christmas party tomorrow to go to. It's, it's not in the evening, it's like in the afternoon. It shouldn't be like an all day thing, so maybe tomorrow evening I'll be back with some more Pokemon. We got, I mean, I got a gym done tonight. That means we've got three badges. Maybe we can quickly gra grab one tomorrow. Like I got to go through the east side of, I don't know, whatever that uh, the open area is called. And then go get the next one. But uh, thank you guys for hanging out. Enjoy the rest of your evenings. Get some great sleep. And I am definitely going to try to be back tomorrow to do more of this stuff. Making progress. Peace out, y'all.